despite many many obstacles and many challenges, uh, I think uh, the Irish agricultural sector has been performing well in the last year and the outlook remains positive. And I know that you've had to come through a lot of disruption in the last couple of years, whether it's the uncertainty associated with Brexit, uh, the pandemic, uh, where it was so important that we kept food production uh, operating and supply chains running, uh, and also the price shocks that we've experienced uh, to the cost of fuel and energy and fertilizer uh, as a consequence of the war in Ukraine. But hopefully now that's stabilizing and prices, input costs will come back a bit. Uh, as you know, we're now into the new cap period, which runs from 2023 uh, to 2027, uh, providing annual funding of 2.3 billion to the sector, which is an increase from previous programs. And similarly, Acres, our new flagship environmental scheme, has had great interest and has been expanded now to take in 46,000 farmers and will be worth more than 1.5 billion euros between now and 2027. I really want to assure you as Taoiseach about the government's commitment to rural Ireland. I know sometimes when there's a Taoiseach who comes from Dublin, and I know there are a lot of ministers from Dublin as well, people may feel uh, that we don't give enough interest or enough regard to rural Ireland. As is the case for almost everyone in Dublin, we're only one generation from the farm, uh, and my family are farming in West Waterford as we speak, um, part of the dairy industry. And I absolutely guarantee you, whether it's over the summer or around the table at Christmas time, they keep me informed about what's happening and what their concerns are. And I think we've taken a lot of actions in the last couple of years that I hope demonstrate uh, our commitment to making rural Ireland a better place. Uh, first of all, the investment in the National Broadband Plan, a €3 billion Euro investment in rural Ireland, a much bigger project than the National Children's Hospital, and one that is now uh, running pretty much on time, and believe it or not, uh, under budget. And that's going to connect about 100,000 farms, homes and businesses in rural Ireland to high-speed broadband every year, making things possible that weren't possible in the past. I do think we need an EU nature law. We've seen enormous loss of biodiversity in Ireland and around the world in recent years and in the past couple of decades. At the moment, 97% of all animal weight in the world is us and the food we eat. Only 3% is left for nature. And we need to protect that and allow nature to regrow. But we need to do it in the right way, working with farmers, working with rural and coastal communities. And the reason why we didn't support the original commission proposal is that we thought it went far too far and wasn't, wasn't, it wasn't implementable. Uh, the proposal that we've agreed on, as a, on, a, on a, as a government is a very different one and one that I think is going to be viable, achievable targets, but also one that we can work with farmers and rural communities on. It's not fully agreed yet, still some changes to be made, but I think in a much better space than we might have been in uh, a few months ago.